So we're going to look through another tricky example here. Uh, find the general solution radian still for cos of pi over 6 take away 4x is equal to root 3 over 2. So first of all, inverse cosine both sides of the equation, and you're going to get left with pi over 6 take away 4x is equal to inverse cos of root 3 over 2. Okay, so inverse cos of root 3 over 2 is pi over 6. Okay, so that's your value of alpha. So we either have, well, remember for cosine we can write them as one equation. So we've got pi over 6 minus 4x is equal to 2 pi n plus or minus the value of alpha that we're working with here. Okay? So then um, you can take pi over 6 from both sides. So that'd be minus 4x is equal to 2 pi n plus or minus pi over 6 minus pi over 6. Now, some people might want to write this as one, uh, as two separate equations, uh, but you don't have to. Personally, I prefer to maintain the plus minus and keep it as one equation. just makes it easier. Then I can divide through by minus 4. So when I do that, I get minus 2 over 4, so half, minus a half pi n. Now, when I divide through by minus 4, the plus minus will still be there regardless. So minus 4, so I'm going to get pi over 24. And then dividing minus pi over 6 by minus 4, I'm going to get plus pi over 24. Okay, so I could write my answer like that. But because n is positive or negative, I don't really need to have a negative sign in front. So I can write it just as 1 half pi n plus or minus pi over 24, plus pi over 24. So there's a few different equivalent ways of writing this one down, um, but the process of uh, writing out the general solution and then reorganising it and putting x equals um, hasn't really changed.